Hello! Well, should be 0K fans, but 0K is having some replay issues right now, unfortunately. So, on to backup, since there's also not a lot of Akron replays right now, which is really annoying. Anyway, so my backup game is going to be Doom the Roguelike, which I've been meaning to do some streams on before, but hey, now it's kind of my only choice. So let's go for it. Anyway, I have been playing this a bit, so... Duo of Ultra Violence is one of the more fun modes. In case you weren't familiar, the name of the game really explains everything. It is a roguelike set along the game Doom. So it's... Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. Anyway, start out with... Start with Marine, since that is sort of the bread and butter class. And... Okay, for those of you unfamiliar with the game, start out, you pick a trait. The trait changes something about you. It's pretty simple. Add some damage, add some defensiveness. Maybe increases your reload speed, stuff like that, range and so forth. Anyway, basic traits lead to advanced traits, would then lead to these master traits. You can only get one of these master traits, and depending on your basic traits you take, you block off certain ones and you open up the others. So probably for this, I'm going to go for a very typical a safe build, as it were, which is shotgun-based. Because shotguns in this game are safe weapons. They're necessarily the most powerful, but they are safe. And I'll show you why once we get in. So I'll start out with this, and a name... Hmm. Some random name, I guess. It won't matter too much, because it's not... I'm not going to last that long. Anyway, so... I will now demonstrate why, well, once I get a shotgun, why it's important. So, as you can see, Doom Roguelike, pretty simple. It is mouse control, which is nice, but just go around and you have... You have your... One sec. So you have your gun. Fire out the right mouse button. It's pretty simple. Reload. It's... Unlike most roguelikes, this is a very ranged-based roguelike. You don't you have a melee attack, but it's not particularly powerful. It's also based heavily around cover. Although I can't demonstrate it easily right now, but it really is. Oh come on, just die already. Trees don't operate as very good cover, but they only exist in the first level. Anyway. So once I get to here. There are two very important tricks for surviving a Doom or L. The first is corner shooting. Which is actually really hard to do with pistols. But basically, you cannot be attacked easily from around. Actually, beat the guy up. You cannot be attacked easily from around corners. So you just go around the corner and fire, and you can hit things, and they can't easily hit you. The other trick, which is easier to show with shotguns, is actually I'll just wait until I get a shotgun. There are three on this level, so I might as well wait until then. Just die already. This is a good demonstration of corner shooting. However, what really makes shotguns shine is a technique known as radar shooting. As you can see, I can't see into there. However, should I shoot? Okay, that's obvious. I saw the one. If I shoot inside, I will be able to hear death cries from anything I attack. So I can just basically tell if there are enemies in front of me by shooting. Since shotguns cannot miss, this makes shotguns very useful. However, shotguns do have disadvantages, which come up a bit later. They aren't as powerful directly, They, especially once you get to enemies with armor. They aren't very powerful. Also, they will blow up barrels when we get to that point. Next level, we'll have a bunch of barrels, and once we get to there, that will be a major problem. Or can be a major problem. But as you can see, no threat, and I can just kill anything with a shotgun. Thus, shotguns are typically a very powerful basis for your build in this game. Double check, I only have two med packs. You start with two med packs, your main weapon, your pistol, and some 10 millimeter ammo for your pistol. Now, this is where it gets tricky. As you can see, starting out surrounded by a bunch of enemies. The message here, it points to an area known as Hell's Arena, which I will be going to. I usually do. I don't always survive, but I usually go there. Depends on the med packs, though. I find having less than four med packs makes it rather difficult. Anyway. Very handy thing about this, when you start out, you have about three steps worth of movement. If you run, you get up to, I think, four in practice. And now I have to actually deal with the fact that there's a bunch of 
enemy is trying to kill me. And at this point, computer map here I get allows me to see everything on the map, all the power-ups, but not all the enemies. There is a tracking map that allows me to see all the enemies, but that is not what I'm using right now. Or rather, not what I found. Just grab that med pack, and this is where radar shooting is going to come very handy. Unfortunately, I blew open the door. Like I said, shotguns are kind of risky and really are not. Oh, for sakes. And like I said, blow up barrels inadvertently because they have a wide spread. Like so. Blowing up barrels can destroy useful equipment and med packs and so forth. And that is my fourth med pack, so that's actually pretty good. But yeah, if you blow up barrels willy nilly, it's easy to get yourself. You get yourself killed if you're not careful, too, actually. I have lost characters, several characters, to barrels, to inadvertent barrels, and level up. Okay. So once again, I'm just going to go for this. Just going to double check that I do have everything. Yes, I have Reloader, Reloader, Badass I can get right off the start. So I'm trying to go for Army of the Dead, which is basically eliminates the weakness of the shotgun to armor. Because shotguns do not work well with ar against armor, but this eliminates that completely. I just get reloader again, so I can just reload faster. Because the other weakness of shotguns, which is fairly obvious, they only carry one. They only carry one shell at a time. You have to reload after every shot, which means you kind of slow yourself down a lot. Ah. Also, should point out along halls like this, radar shooting with chain gun or pistol is a better option. Ah. Rather than with. Ah, shoot. Shotgun. Now, Berserk Pack over here is going to be very handy. Because that will get me back up to 100% health without using a med pack. There are also health globes, but I don't have any of those in the moment. So I, I haven't found any of those, rather. So unfortunately, it is rather difficult to deal with this. But like I said, corner shooting works for this. Radar shooting works for... Oh, that was a good opportunity to radar shoot. I did not take advantage of it. However, I do have a bunch of med packs, so that will be serving me very well shortly, as we can see. I am not being as careful as I should be. Ah, crap. You can also dodge attacks as they're fired, but it's a little bit tricky to do so. Just because when you dodge, you actually have to... You can dodge in fire better than anything else, but it's... You basically... You move like that. They'll target where you moved with it. The, there's a chance they'll target where you moved. You can't easily do it after shooting, though, so it's still kind of tricky. So yeah, that is the basics of doing the roguelike. So at this point, it's just me trying to go around and- Ah, here's a tracking map. This is what I was looking for. So with this, I can tell that there is exactly one enemy left, and it is a shotgun, a former sergeant, over in the corner here. Anyway. Just need to get to him, and- or it, rather. I don't know if you really call it an him at this point. Also, I'm fairly certain that shotgun... No, I know for sure that shotguns do actually lose damage as the shells go away. As the shells progress away from the gun, they deal less and less damage. And this is a lever. These things can be dangerous. I'm going to pull it just to demonstrate. That would have been extremely terrifying if there were enemies around me. Cover is extremely important to doing the roguelike, and losing the walls would probably have been fatal. However, since I'm safe, it's not a problem. And now this is Hell's Arena, where I am welcomed with a devilish voice that announces that I am foolish or brave, and basically wants me to kill a bunch of demons in order to reward me. This is really tricky, and I should point out, bottom left corner, where it says running, very important status there. When running, you have... You're harder to hit. I believe your dodge chance goes up as well. But... You have... You only have a few, like, 30 steps before you get tired, and you have to heal up before you can run again, or go down a flight of stairs. And going down a flight of stairs is an irreversible action. You can't go upstairs, you can only go downstairs. That's the only way to progress in this game. Also, one last thing about shotguns I forgot to point out. They do push back enemies. So, when attacking enemies, you can just... Especially these demons here. For anyone who's played Doom, the actual shooter, they'll know that the pinkies are really annoying enemies, which will just happily run up to you and chew your face off. Doom RL is no different, but 
shotguns do have knockback, which does at least prevent them from hitting you too hard. However, demons do have armor, which means that shotguns are still not the most efficient option. However, since I'm going for a very shotgun oriented build at this point, I kind of might as well shoot. Actually, I'm going to just chain gun this guy dead. And that's where shotgun becomes useful for his knockback. And there we go, shotty man. And of course, I need one level of that, so I will go for it. Which allows me to reload shotguns by moving. Well, shotguns and rocket launchers, which is going to be really important because it means I can easily basically re fire and dodge. Or just fire and move. In fact, I should probably use a med pack, by the way. I have med packs, I might as well use them. Dying for lack of resources is one thing, but dying when you have resources is just embarrassing. And I should also point out, if you noticed, the sound of this game is really important. Gearing out where enemies are and what kind of enemies there are, there is a cacko demon left. There it is. You can hear basically left or right where enemies are by their hissing. And this is the only way to survive in this game. It's really important that you do it, and it's, as you can see, the only reason I knew it, that he was there. It's it's actually really hard to play this game without sound, honestly, because I know this now Demon and Kaku Demon over here. Neither of which really like each other, apparently. That, I've never actually seen that happen in Doom RL. Stuff of that nature happens all the time in the original Doom, but I've never seen it happen here. Enemies, yeah, in the original Doom, if you've, ever, if you've never played Doom, enemies will actually attack each other. They can easily provoke each other to attack just by accidentally missing. It's really quite amusing, actually. But that doesn't really happen in the roguelike. And... It's hard. Yeah, okay. I do know about corner shooting. Yes, I mentioned corner shooting, so... Oh yeah, in case you're wondering, the way the tick-based system of this game works is that every... Oops. Every step you take is one second. It's measured in terms of seconds. It's an energy system, basically. So what happens is every action you take takes one second. Or it depends on the action. I'll demonstrate in a second. So, for example, my shot... my pistol here takes one second to fire, a little over a second to reload. Chain gun takes two and a half seconds to reload, which is quite a lot. That's basically two steps worth of time. The shotgun takes, well, one and one, but I believe that is because of my reloader trait. Pretty sure it normally takes more than that. But yeah, that is really important to know, because that time is of the essence. It's, like I said, one of the reasons shotgun has a weakness is that it takes time to reload that for other weapons would just be fire time. And now to get to the Barons of Hell. And one of them starts out near me. Well, crap. I've... Okay, I need to heal. Probably switch to chain gun. And switching weapons also takes time, by the way. Crap. Run, run, must run, get out of there. Okay, that's one down. That's not two down. That's not good. I've never had them spawn right next to each other like that. Not pleasant. But thankfully, I do have corner shooting on my side. Sort of. Ah. There we go. Okay, thankfully I managed to get through that. But yeah, that is rather difficult. And if, in case you're just joining the stream now, this is on ultra violence. This is on the hardest difficulty level I have unlocked, and also the hardest difficulty level that doesn't involve respawning enemies. I'll get that when I'm done. Get a large med pack. Need that terribly. Yeah, so... Hell's Arena, in case you are wondering, is kind of an optional area. You, If you beat it, as I just did, you get a rocket launcher, a bunch of ammo. There's the rocket launcher. Very handy thing to have. You need it for one of the later secret levels, but in general, it's just a useful tool to have. And... Hell's Arena is one of those things you do because you can. It's not required. It's a side area. It's kind of an expert player thing. If you try to do it and you don't know how to really properly corner shoot and dodge and so forth, you are going to die. Oh, pointing out... Okay, 
So shotguns do have a default reload speed of one second. The current one is half a second. So it takes half as long to move as it is to reload. And F health globe. Wonderful. So, as I mentioned before, running... I also mentioned barrels before. But yeah, running takes up energy... Or rather, it takes time... Or it takes less time. Running, however, is a one-shot thing per heal and per jumping down the staircase. Small health globes, you use them to avoid having to run more often than you have... Or sorry, you use them to be able to run as often as you can. Use them to avoid having to use health packs to run when you don't have to. And nothing there. Okay. Like I said, radar shooting. Shotguns are powerful, but this room looks like it's dangerous. A leave in a room like that is usually going to be monsters or maybe a harmful liquid. But actually, at this point, I have enough health. I could probably deal with it. Ah, armor repair. Okay, that's good. It's hard to tell. What, there is a skill called intuition that... Do I have skills up here? No, I don't have... I don't get skills. Okay, anyway. There's a skill called intuition that does lets you see what levers can do. The first level just tells you if they're harmful or helpful. The second one tells you what they do. I do not have that skill, and personally, I don't like it all that much. It's a useful skill when you're starting out. It does help out a bit, but it is a skill point used for something that you learn how to deal with with experience. And that was a Hell Knight, by the way. That cry there, that was a Hell Knight. For anyone who hasn't played the game, that's... or played the original Doom, or rather Doom 2, where Hell Knights were. They're basically Baron of Hell's kid brother. That's the easiest way I could describe them. They are not quite as dangerous. They don't have, in this game, quite the high level of splash that the Barons do. But they're still not something to be trifled with. Okay, I don't have accuracy bonuses. I do not have eagle eyes, so I can't really go accuracy. Oh, T, thank you. So yeah, there is a skill. This is the skill here. Intuition. You need two levels of Eagle Eye if you're not playing Scout. If you're playing Scout, they get it by default. But you get you need to have the range trait in order to get to that point otherwise. Punch out a Lost Soul, which wasn't really the best way of going about it. I don't like this thing. Get out of... Shit. I do not like this at all. Crap. And that's the Hell Knight. I need to get out of here fast. This was unwise. And the reload time is not doing me any favors. Okay. That was... Oh, there's a Berserk Pack over there, too. How embarrassing. I need to go up for that. Because the Berserk Pack, of course, gets me my health back, and... I need to do this carefully, too. I need to make sure I don't screw up radar shooting. It's a tense game. It is a very tense game, and I have run out of health back, so I am kind of... Screwed without... I'll just die already. Oh, come on. Of course. Yeah, nothing really beats the shotgun for radar shooting. That's for sure. Doesn't deal the most damage, but it does let you at least not die. And another health back. Good. My armor is... Broken? Oh my. Oh my, I have no armor at the moment. And I actually haven't... I've surprisingly not found a lot of armor drops. I gotta be honest, this is... Odd. Normally you get more armor drops by this point. And... Oh yeah, Desard's pointing out in the chat that Intuition 2 does let you detect enemies two squares beyond your vision, which is another thing that definitely useful when you're starting out, but once you get the hang of radar shooting is kind of... Unless radar shooting gets removed in a later patch, I don't know. It's something that's kind of contentious on the forums, but... Yeah, unless it gets removed in a later patch, it's something that, while handy, there are other ways of doing it. Just fire a shotgun into an empty room and hope for the best. That's kind of how it works. And this is where... See, that's the reason I say shotguns you gotta be careful with. If this barrel explodes, I lose the health here. I lose that globe. I lose ability to run. And that barrel over th there is rather dangerous as well. So I don't want to use a shotgun. But I gotta know what's going on here. Okay, this I can safely radar shoot. So that's the thing. There's a bit of a trade-off with the shotgun you gotta be careful with. You can't just blindly shoot like that. Although in that case, there was nothing around it, so I could just go for it. Blow that guy up. Ah, I just lost the health. See what I mean? You gotta be careful about that. So badass, while useful, is not something I actually can make 
I can make sort of, actually, I can make a defense right now, because there are a bunch of health globes. So, I, I mean, I don't want to grab too many health globes just because that isn't the most efficient way of going about it. But Badass allows me to have 150% health without having it decay naturally, just decay over time. Come to think of it, that would have actually been a really useful thing to have taken in the middle of... Okay, Hell's Arena actually did benefit from what I got, but still. Had I taken that in the middle of Hell's Arena, it would have been useful. I might as well just grab these globes now. And go down to the next level. Level 3 with two med packs. Actually, not do This is one of my better runs. Crap. Gotta run. Actually, I can't run in Wall Berserk, but... There is a Hell Knight down there, and I need to... Get rid of it before I lose Berserk. Okay. So anyway, this is the thing that happens. Pretty often, actually. Is running into an area where a bunch of enemies surround you right at the start, especially in these more open level designs. These are procedurally generated levels, by the way, as in most roguelikes. So, the level designs are naturally going to be a bit unpredictable. And in this case, they are definitely... Yeah, special levels like Hell's Arena are not procedurally generated, but these ones are. And I gotta find some globes, hopefully, because I don't want to use a health pack if I don't have to. I'm gonna take that ammo chain, though. Although I don't really need it. It's not a shotgun-based thing. It is more of a chain gun-based thing, which, incidentally, I should make sure I have loaded. Good, everything's loaded. So, at this point, everything's going surprisingly well. Gotta say, see if I can get to Phobos. Which is what happens when you get to the end. Of level 8, I should say. This is the... Basically, it's getting to episode 2 of Doom. Getting to Phobos. And that's a thing here, which has pretty much the same boss fight. Two, uh, two barons of hell in a pretty enclosed space, and you have to get past them. So you don't have to have to kill them, and you don't have the 12 invisible demons around this giant pentagram trying to kill you as well. Which is not as... is about as fun as it sounds, and I got a head med pack up. You never ever in a roguelike want to ha be out of... not use the resources you have. Oh yeah, your ammo, I should say, is in... just wondering, it is in your inventory. I have 156 shotgun shells right now, and I have 484 rounds of 10 millimeter ammo, along with the 250 round chain. Ammo in this game, at least at the beginning, is very, very well provided for. Crap, why did I walk in that room? I gotta run out of here, heal up, continue running. I hate fighting de- ah! Hate fighting demons! Well, I could not run out of there in time, unfortunately. I actually realized I stopped running as soon as I healed up, and that was a mistake. Well, that was Dumarel. So yeah, the shotgun does only hold one bullet. Let's do another one. Let's do it a bit different this time. Yeah, like I said, I've played this game quite a lot, actually. Probably more than I... Probably not as much as I... As I really give myself credit for and only getting to level 4 there. You know, let's try another one. Ultraviolence. Try Scout this time. And... I'm gonna see if I can... Deal with one of the issues that had come up last time. Hmm. Okay, Jersey's pointing out, I'm playing the wrong game if I don't like fighting demons. That is a good point. I actually do, but at the same time, fighting demons at close range is not what you want to do. Also, if you have any name suggestions for the next character, point them out in chat. Why not? Yeah, that... I probably could have won that situation had I remembered that I stopped running when I heal. I go back into cautious stance, not running stance. And if I had been more careful about that, I would have probably survived. However, I did not. And that was unfortunately my undoing. However... Oh, for... What the heck is that coming from? Great. Beat the guy to death. Well, that was a mis... That was annoyance. And hopefully... I will survive long enough to show you my brilliant plan. Oh, I've got rid of all the shotgun guys, that's good. Because my brilliant plan will allow me to work with 
shotguns, no problem. I'm level two. So I should come up pretty quickly too. Oh. Ah. I grab my armor. My armor. Oops. That is my armor, you you it's not for you. It's for me. Someone else in your party happened to have it at the time, but they were just holding it. Mine. Oh boy. Uh, not the best way of going about it, but at least it kills them. And another med pack. And yet another med pack. Let's heal up first, just in case. Because this is getting dangerous and there are a lot of barrels, and I do not like having that many barrels around when I'm going for shotgun heavy. And for those of you who play the game, you probably know what I'm planning on doing, and you probably know its strengths and limitations, but I will get to that when it actually comes up. And what I'm talking about? Unlimited shotgun works! Yeah, the juggler skill I just took is... It allows you to swap weapons that are on keys instantly. But, because the game will go to loaded weapons, if there are any of that type, you can basically just reload all your weapons in advance and swap between them as you fire. So as long as that pistol's not in my side weapon, I will have a shotgun available. And I have six shotguns at the moment, though right now, attacking's... I don't need to even worry about reloading. Not until after the fight, at least. Yep. Unlim I call it unlimited shotgun works, because it's just... Well, okay, it's a Modica Magic reference by way of Face Day Night, but it's... It, I think, is very appropriate for the... Oh, for crying out loud. For the situation at hand, being that I am just pulling out a bunch of guns and firing them all off one after another. And in case you're wondering, I am referring, of course, to the Unlimited Musket Works meme by way of Unlimited Blade Works, so... Yeah, for those of you not familiar, that's that's the path my that's the path the brain goes. And the limitation of this is probably pretty obvious. There's two limitations. The one limitation that's probably really obvious is that I need to reload in between fights and that's kind of problematic. I can get attacked in the meantime. Another limitation is that I need to have all of these reloaded and I kind of start I have only that many shots left before I run out of shotgun completely. The other weakness, of course, is this is my entire inventory. I only have 20 inventory slots. At this point, a quarter of them are shotguns. So that's not the most efficient way of dealing with inventory. But early on in the game, this is actually a really good way of setting yourself up. It's just... You get a lot of shotguns, especially in ultraviolence, there are a lot of shotguns being dropped. I mean, it's level 2 and I already have 7. So you get a lot of shotguns, you put them together, you get the juggler skill, and I don't, I'm not going to go into Hell's Arena this time. Do not have enough med packs to manage that. Especially since I just used my last one. Crap. But yeah. It's not the most efficient use of inventory. But early on, it is a really powerful strategy. And when you're playing Scout, it's really handy because it's actually one of the skills you require for Shoddy Head, which is the Scout Shotgun Master skill. Shoddy Man being the other one, so I'm going to have to go for that afterwards. And you can get Hellrunner as well, which increases your speed. Which, as was witnessed in my battle with the demons earlier, a very useful thing to have. So let's just go over to... Not you, not there. Go over to the staircases over here. Like I said, not going to take Hell's Arena. And yeah, I just started pointing out that Unlimited Shotgun Works would have done well in the Demon Room, but I don't like going for this build very often because I find it... It's one you have to transition out of. It's only useful until about dungeon level 4 or 5, and then its usefulness starts to drop off pretty rapidly, i found. It's, like I said, reloading. You gotta be careful about that. But yeah, its usefulness starts to drop off pretty quickly. Just because you need, you get more specialized weapons. Once you get rocket launcher and chainsaw and chain gun, it becomes harder and harder to actually keep up shotgun only. And also, once you get more enemies with armor, doing that becomes harder. It's just, I mean, in middle you can do unlimited chain gun works as well, and that can work. But shotguns are just more powerful for radar shooting. They have a lot more utility. 
and thus are pretty much the prime can and also have one ammo per crap. Damn it. Yes, as you can see, it does have its limitations. Actually, it wasn't even limitations. That was just I I overstepped my bounds there. I, I overstretched. Bit of a mistake. Well, I kind of wish Unlimited Shock and Works had been a bit more impactful there. But yeah, like I said, that build, that build can lead to overconfidence pretty quickly. 